Hey, what is up, everybody? This is Steve Breach coming to you here today. Um, WWE must hate Ric Flair's podcast, honestly, in my opinion. Um, basically, you know, that there's been reports thrown out there that uh, basically WWE, um, you know, wrestlers were only supposed to be doing uh, podcasts with, uh, you know, such people like Chris Jericho and Stone Cold Steve Austin, people that... Um, could be held responsible if things got out of control on the podcast and, and they got out. Um, but uh, almost immediately after that report, Charlotte did Ric Flair's podcast. And, you know, also, like, each and every week, Ric Flair breaks news about things that you don't really hear any other place. And Flair is a guy who's on the roster for Monday Night Raw and for SmackDown each and every week. So you have to believe the things that he's saying because he's not going to go on his podcast and just throw out blatant lies, but he has reports on, you know, Randy Orton and, um, lots of guys that are in the locker room that are injured. And it's almost like he just doesn't care. He just says it all. And on this week's episode of uh, Ric Flair's podcast, he just tossed it out there that he's going to Dallas. He's going to be at the WWE Hall of Fame, and he's going to be inducting none other than Sting um, into the Hall of Fame. This is probably news that WWE would have loved to have broken on their own, um, seeing how they like to uh, sort of make the... It's almost like the last Raw before... WrestleMania, they all they always announce the presenters, or if the presenter is almost as big as a star as the person that they're presenting, uh, almost a lot like you know when William Shatner uh, put in Jerry the King Lawler, or when like uh, Sylvester Stallone uh, put in Hulk Hogan, um, they, they they like to make a big deal out of that because it's almost like another reason to make sure you do not miss the Hall of Fame. Um, Ric Flair is the guy that took Sting and basically turned him into a star. I, I think that, uh, you know, Sting and his popularity is a lot because Ric Flair looked at Sting as the guy in the locker room that, you know, really did, um, you know, get over with the fans uh, with his neon colors and his sort of surfer attitude as well as just... Um, I don't know how to say it. Being a cool guy, I guess, is the best way to say it. And uh, he led through Sting's through some of the best matches of his career. I don't think anybody has ever really put over Sting as being a great wrestler. But the, re the, the wrestling matches that Sting had with Ric Flair, you know, Clash of the Champions, um, I believe Great American Bash, um, you know, those matches are matches that live in the history of WCW as being some of the biggest ones that they had. Um, throughout time, but uh, I thought this was um, you know a really big announcement uh, for Flair to be putting in Sting. I don't think there's anybody else out there that could do it. Honestly, in my opinion, I think when the news broke about Sting, I think that I predicted that that's who the guy um, was going to be putting him in there. I, I I don't think of anybody else that is connected to Sting um, that is as big uh, as as that. So um, you know, was when Sting jumped over to WWE. Um, that was a big deal because he was a guy that people wanted to see for years. Um, definitely when it was announced that Sting would be taking on Triple H at WrestleMania 31. Um, I don't think it was as big as it could have been with uh, Sting versus The Undertaker. Um, but definitely, um, you know, the way it played out with them bringing out the NWO and DX and everything. That was... That was really big, and that was really cool. So we'll see at WrestleMania 32. I won't see it unless we watch it on the network once it's all over. Uh, and we're back in our hotel room that night. But um, maybe I'll see it when I come home. But I haven't even watched WrestleMania 31's Hall of Fame. Uh, I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just, I'm over it, I guess. But um, for the people that are, are being there, I'm sure they're going to get a treat. For the people that were there last year um, for Shawn Michaels and Diesel's speech, um, they said they were really good. And even Lanny Poffo's speech for the Macho Man. So I'm sure if you're there and, and you enjoy it, you'll have fun. But for me, I'm glad that I'm going to the WrestleCon show down the street.